So when Colt reintroduced the Python in 2020, this actually is the Goldilocks gun I wanted all along. Now, of course, they completely redesigned the gun. They went to a new V-Leaf spring system, and they really improved the original Python. I know that's blasphemy, but as a shooter, the trigger on this gun is way better than the original because that's a trigger system that dated to 1899. The trigger on the new Python is very smooth. You don't get that stacking, that Colt wall that you used to get. And this trigger breaks at about just about 10 pounds. So of course this gun does have a transfer bar. You don't see the exposed firing pin here. So the energy is transmitted once that hammer falls to the cartridge. And when you look at the new Colt Python, this of course is a six shot revolver. And like all Colt should, that cylinder advances to the right. So this gun is chambered in 357 Magnum and it's got enough weight that it's manageable to shoot. It's actually very comfortable to shoot. But if you're just heading to the range, you can of course shoot 38 Special. So one of the things I love about the three inch barreled gun is you can actually get the cases out of the gun. The original short barreled Python, this isn't quite a snubby, maybe some people would call it a snubby, but there just wasn't enough ejector rod. So when you try and kick the cases out, you'd really have to smack it because they wouldn't completely clear the cylinder. Some of the things carried over from the new Python into this three inch version is you have a beefier frame. This frame is about 30% stronger than the original. So the barrel of course is a fully lugged barrel for three inches. It doesn't add a lot of weight. But what I think it does is it really helps the balance of this gun. These stocks, you know, they're kind of the Coke bottle style or the second pattern stock. They have the Colt Escouchon uh, set in there. Uh, they're checkered and, and they really fit the hand well. The, these stocks allow the gun, even under the recoil of full 357 Magnum loads, the gun holds still in your hand. So again, like all Colts should, your cylinder latch is on the left side. And in, just in case you're not familiar with Colts, you actually have to pull it rearward and then you can kick your cylinder out. Now, when it comes to sights, you have a fully adjustable target style rear and you know you can adjust for wind and jan elevation. In the front, you've got a blade. Of course, it's radius at the front, so it's easy to get in and out of a holster, but you also have an orange insert that's actually very easy to pick up. And like the other new Colt Pythons, you can actually change this front sight out. They don't have to manufacture the sight as part of the barrel. At the front of the muzzle, you do have a target crown. And I gotta tell you, for a three inch barrel gun, this thing actually shoots very well. It could be a carry gun if you're a big guy and don't mind carrying a big gun that weighs 40 ounces. But as a trail gun, it's got just enough barrel, just enough sight radius that it can fulfill a couple of different roles. And I must say that once I got a chance to take it to the range, this is everything that I'm looking for. For more on firearms and shooting gear, go to AmericanRifleman.org.